Hey everyone, welcome back to Hollow Knight. Uh, here's something I discovered as I was coming back here. Uh, these magic floating fat dudes, they do not respawn, which is actually very good. I was looking at my map and I just realized that this area might actually lead to like the first major whatever boss. You know, what is it, Guardian or whatever that we have to take out. So... I had an idea of what if I explore some of the rest of this area in case, you know, like this is the optional stuff. Oh, okay. That is a very quick, very, very quick dead end. Never mind, never mind. Alright, so we have hit every dead end except the soul spiral or soul shrine or whatever. Soul something. Yeah, so these dudes do not respawn, which is actually very, very convenient because I was like, damn, I have to fight all these fools again. Wait, why did I take damage though? Soul sanctum. Okay, it's a sanctum. He's here. First thing I need to do is get my... Uh, Geo back because I'll be hella buying a map from him. You bet. Also, if we are here, might as well, right? Fuck, why did I die so far up? Uh oh. Uh oh. They do respawn. Some of them do. Damn. This is not an easy enemy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, just bring it in. Bring it in. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Where is my corpse? Where is my corpse? Please on time, it's like stuck in there. It's gonna be an actual nightmare to deal with. It's stuck in the room with the other enemies. Not what I meant to do. I got... Oh shit, okay. I was unsure of myself and that was a mistake I was like do I want to heal or not and I let go so early that the game re registered it as a Hadouken what I'm trying to do it didn't work No! Why did I try that? Shit. No! A lot of these enemies uh, in this game are like difficult to heal against. I'm noticing a theme here with the Mantis Lords. We're like, fuck. Oh, this is where I took damage. That is where I took damage. The Mantis Lords were like another example of that. Like a very difficult enemy to heal against. No fucking around, you gotta be perfect. Shit. To be 100% honest with you, currently, things ain't looking so, so hot. 
for us right now. Oops. I blew my load too early. I got off. Way too early. Alright, there we go. There we go. Oh, come on, little corpse. Shit. No, ah. Lot of HP. <sighs> Not that much, maybe. Man, that was a little bit too close. Before we go any further, first of all, <laughs> good thing I was recording. I was like, damn, did I? But I did. I press record. I'm not that much of a dumbass. Alright, we're gonna hit up Map Dude, Carnivorous, and. We are gonna be buying some paper from him, that's for sure. Okay. Um An ornate door made from glistening metal. There's a slot for some kind of key. Oh oh, there he is. I was like, where the hell... De but there he is. I'm about, while I'm about these buildings, I must remember to collect a trinket or two for Iselda. Oh. Are you not going to... Shit, it's a shortcut. Damn. Alright. That is that is very clever. So they, I, that, that was, uh, that's what I was going to say. I was like, damn, he got ahead of us. He's quick. But that's not the case. Still, that is an excellent, excellent shortcut. Probably couldn't break it from the other side, could you? I bet not. Alright then, no way forward but forward. It doesn't look like the orb that floats around him can actually damage you. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'm descending first. Why? I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be another shortcut back to... Yup. Yes, it is. My shortcut instincts were... tingling. That's good, it's not gonna be a pain in the ass to move around move about this area. Okay. Oh! That pillar that pillar super looked like something you, that was like an obstacle. Couldn't bypass. Turns out you can. That was a wonderful bit of platforming. Falling all the way down. <clears throat> Let's go. I have a bad feeling about this, as in... Again, I really have a feeling that we're gonna be closing, closing up on a boss. This is a really cool area, by the way. Very Duke's Archives-ish. That is the official terminology for it. Duke's Archives-ish. Man. Good thing I have my strong weapon. Or stronger weapon. Fuck. 
floating enemies in these games are like the bane of my existence. He's literally batting three for three, three for three. I can't even talk against me because he. I think he hit me with every single one of his shots. Oh, okay. I got you, game. I got you. Another one of these areas. We gotta be closing in on the ability to break floors, right? Because that's been like a constant thing. I see and I've seen a bunch of places where it looks like there are breakable floors. And I've never once being close to being able to break them, obviously. It's way too silent. Before we go any further. I don't like that much silence, but I don't like going up either because... I feel like that leads to... Holy shit. Nice. Spell Twister. Okay. I still don't know how to navigate menus. Reflecting the design, blah blah blah, it reduces the soul cost of casting spells. The game keeps talking about spells plural, but I've only ever encountered one spell. The one that I have. Boys, I don't know. Oh shit. I knew it. I knew this was a boss. Fuck. Soul Master. Oh, god damn it. Oh, he faints you. He's gonna be such a pain in the ass to hit. Ah, okay, dodged the wrong way. What a trickster. I had to take my up opportunity. Wait. I bet you gotta hit him with your other sword, right? Is that it? You gotta hit him with the dream nail? It seemed to glow. Oh, shit. I mean, they are generous enough to give you shortcuts back to him. At least. Which is nice enough. The bigger question is... I guess these enemies can do it. Yeah, fuck off. Can you not run away from these guys? I think you can. No, you can't. Alright, perfect. Lesson learned. Cannot run away from these enemies. I thought there was a range that they won't follow you past, but turns out yet is the answer to that. Oh shit. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Actually, that's not too bad of a run back. Oh yeah, and this is nice of the game. I always forget that you're uh, 
body cannot stay inside boss arenas. Which is nice. Technically, you cannot lose your Geo against bosses. I dodged straight. I jumped straight into it. Damn, I got arrogant. That faint. It's not what you gotta do. I thought that's what you gotta do. That faint. <laughs> it's gonna get me so much. I was gonna jump. What the hell? What is he doing? What is he do? Is he dead? There's no way he already... That was insanely quick. Oh no, no it's... Whoa. Shit. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Please tell me he's actually dead. No more tricks this time. God damn, that got me. That got me so bad. I was really, really, really worried. I was like, damn, he has a second phase. That was still insanely easy. Consumed the desolate dive. I know what this is. While holding down to strike the earth with a burst of... Yes. It's a soul. I mean, it's a spell. Finally, this is all I've been wanting. This opens up so much. Because... There's one area in my mind already. Where I can use this. You guys know what it is. The fucking uh, cave. Crystal mines or whatever. I should do this. Man. That was probably the easiest boss so far. Honestly. Aside from the first, which is obviously... You don't... Whoa. That's a lot of cash. Three hundo. I just have a lot of cash all of a sudden. Gonna get my supreme money gun out. I I didn't I didn't read the <laughs> I didn't read the fucking There we go. We got it working. I don't know what the hell that did. That's super cool. There's a super super cool spell. Holy shit. The animation on it is really solid too. Okay. There's something else there. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I'm guessing this is not where we actually need to go properly. It 
So we gotta go up. That unlocks something. It did not, because I hit a switch. So unless I'm blind and or an idiot, both possibilities. Hold on. Oh. I should have done this. Whoa, okay. Hmm. This is a dream world. Please don't tell. Oh no, Soul Tyrant. What? What? This Don't tell me you gotta fight him again. Whoa, okay. I'm stoned, aren't I? This is... I gotta be stoned. Yeah, I do. I do. I'm sure you're not required. I'm really hoping you're not required to do this. Normally don't ask for help. What? Please tell me I don't have to do that. I don't lose my souls either. Oh, okay. So I am a, I am blind. Never mind. It's so awesome. So awesome. It's like the screw attack, not screw attack, the speed boost from Metroid, you know, like when you have your little speed thingy and you charge it. You know what I'm talking about, everybody's played Metroid. And I took way too much damage against these enemies. Way more than I should have by any right. See, I seem to think, yup. Don't worry, little worm. I'm coming to save you. I ain't gonna leave him behind. This is kind of an awesome area. I'm not gonna lie. Are these all like dead bugs? Looks like it. Alright. I'll take that, thank you very much. Just wondering where this is all gonna like lead up to. Another boss. <laughs> Did we shortcut back? Uh, I think... Yes, we shortcut it back. But that does have a herd box on it. Curiosity satiated. That's all I can say. Had a feeling. Oh, okay. Hmm. So that all just kind of looped around. The real boss is the area, isn't it? Or I'm just terrible at navigating. Because you didn't actually get any special item from him. The boss, I mean. Let me just have a look around. I mean, the thing is, if there wasn't that marker here that indicates that there's some, like, boss or whatever right here, I'd go. But since there is... Holy shit, there's a lot of you. Fuck. 
stupid damage. Hmm. That was meant to be an attack instead of a jump. I went to scratch my neck. And that's how I ended up. Hmm. I don't know why I'm coming in here again. Don't ask me. It really does feel like I missed something. So we'll take the extra minute to have a careful look around. If not, we'll move on to bigger and better things, as in different areas. And it seems it's just like loops around instead of leading to anything particular. Hmm. Oh fuck, I, I am super... Never mind. Never mind. Alright then, cool. But then how do you get to that... You know, that whatever. Like super secret thing you're meant to get. I think that's the point of this entire game, this quest. Maybe it's just an ability for now that you want or that you get from here and the rest will come all natural. Cool. They didn't miss me by the way, we saw each other. That does, okay. So it looks like the area is complete. Obviously, the first thing I can think of is down here in the city. Right at the bottom, there was one of these breakable surfaces. I distinctly remember it. I think it's even like you can even see it on the map, kind of. Uh, so I think that's what we're gonna take a look at first. We'll get to the rest later. <laughs> I like the enemies. I like the enemies in this game. This is the kind of lightheartedness with this game. That's what I like. Shit, I don't have soul power or whatever. Soul spiral. That's Rose's ability, right? From SF4. I don't know, I never really played much of SF4. Uh, okay. Wait, I have the simple key. Shit, that, that's key based, not ability based. Whoa, Royal Waterways. Holy shit, oh, look at the background. This is another one of those dark areas, so I guess the Lumen Fly Lantern is... Oops. Sorry about the plumbing. Is automatic. Which is good to know. I hate those things. Hmm, new area. <laughs> okay. I like the little painting on the, the that like ambience on the back wall is super super cool. The lighting is excellent. I still don't know if this game is made with flash or not. 
like it can be, right? Because the animations, the way the characters are drawn. Whoa! Okay. It looks very flash e The lines and shit. But I don't think... I don't think Flash is like... Stable enough to handle a game like this. That's why, you know, Binding of Isaac, for example, switched to the... Pixel art style. Because, you know, just Flash is just like not equipped to... Whoa. Have a stable game. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know if these are like corniferous papers. They look like. You are fucking fast. I knew it. I was like, when, does when is the little one gonna wake up? They certainly do look like it. Don't even have to touch the water. This is an interesting enemy design. I gotta admit. Give me that cash. Fuck, how far is he? He's like... Damn, bro. Okay, he's here somewhere. This is one of the craziest enemies so far in this game. Oh, cool, he lets you in. I like that. There's attention to detail, bruh. Labyrinth of pipes and tunnels. Hmm. Of course, 75. Hella worth it. Royal waterways. Oh, that leads to the fungal wastes. Hopefully a new part of it. It's not like we haven't been enough times in the fungal wastes. Like half of the game has so far been spent in there. It's not true, but you know. Okay. I'm trying to figure out which part of... That part of it. I know which part this is. Excellent bit of platforming. Well done, Mr. Sketchhead. Well done. Well, with that wonderful closing, I think the time has come to wrap up another episode of Hollow Knight. This is interesting. I'm guessing this is going to lead to some other parts of the uh, the Sinking City. A City of Tears. Sinking City is... Well, whatever. It's different. Hmm. I'm just thinking of how the hell we're going to get to a Dreamer. Because they're all like so out of the way. But maybe the City of Tears like branches out and goes up. I really thought this soul sanctum was gonna be it, but it's not. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Hollow Knight. I will see all of you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>